Okay, I just want to do a quick video here on how to read a food label. So this is an important skill to have as far as so you can make decisions like when you're at the grocery store. Uh, it is something I do often when I am shopping, unless I don't have these now, which is that's something new for me, so I can't even see the labels usually. But anyway, regardless, uh, let's kind of break it down. So uh, on the food label, you're going to have nutritional facts at the top. Um, underneath that, you're going to have serving size and then servings per, per container. Sometimes you're just going to have serving size and it's just going to be one, meaning whatever you are purchasing, there's it like the nutritional facts that are listed or what's going to be included in that item you're buying. Um, in this one, it's two thirds cups is a serving size and then you got 55 grams. So that is one serving size and everything that you see listed here, calories, fat, carbohydrates, protein is going to be one of their serving size. So in this particular item, there are eight per container. So that means there are eight two-third cups or eight fifty-five grams and then the serving size here is one or the other it's either two-third cups or 55 grams now if you're looking to be very accurate grams are the most accurate so you'll find if you um, measure out two-thirds cups and then you weigh it it's most you're almost it's rarely ever going to be accurate so the most accurate way to hit the calories is to actually weigh in grams. And that's where you would see every label is going to have grams listed here. So that's you just weigh out in grams. Um, and I'll do another video at um, some point here so you can understand how to enter grams for like on my fitness pal. Um, now, in one serving size, you're going to have 230 calories. So that means either two third cup or the 55 grams is going to be 230 calories. The calories from fat are going to be 40. Um, and then so, and then the total fat in here is going to be 8 grams. So for every serving that you have, two-thirds cup, again, 55 grams, is going to be 8 grams of fat. You're going to get saturated fats or trans fats. A lot of times you'll see polyunsaturated, monounsaturated fats, which are healthier fats. Trans fats you generally want to stay away from, which, I mean, like those have been pretty demonized where it's like, like you're not seeing a lot of those in the foods like we did in the past. You also see cholesterol, so you can watch the amount of cholesterol that's in the food here on the labels as well. Sodium, 160. 160 is not a lot, so it's 2,400 for the daily recommended allowance. So 160, whatever this food is, is not a lot. The total carbohydrates is going to be 37 grams. Now that's a decent dollop of carbs. So whatever this food is, I don't, I just picked a label online to go over it is a decent amount of carbohydrates in relation to the fat and then the the um, the fat or the carbohydrate or the calories. Um, so, uh, so but, oh, sorry, relative to the fat and the protein. Um, and then under carbohydrates, you'll have dietary fiber, which follows that that is four grams of those 37 and then one gram of sugar. So it would be 32 grams of carbohydrate outside of these two numbers which that's not important that's just the it, like these two numbers are underneath or part of this total count the total carbohydrates here and then the protein will be listed here as well now it does have nutrients and everything else and it'll uh, it's and generally labels are they're all based on a 2000 calorie diet is where these these percentages and everything are coming up from um, but that is the simple explanation of how to read a label. Um, and anyway, I hope that's helpful. And let me know if you have any questions.